Mr. Rose had this idea that he loves old barns and he just couldn't stand to destroy them so he thought it'd be a great way to start a restaurant. They're all 100, about 125 to 150 years old. Um, they're authentic old barns that have, you know, guys that put them together actually put them back the way that they were originated. The feeling when people come in here is like, wow, there's so much to look at kind of a warm, wooded place. We have uh, 12 fireplaces. We've got two outdoor patios that people are in awe of. <gasps> look at the chandelier and look at the rosewood room and where did you get the moose from? The majority of the staff has been here anywhere from eight years and up. You can come here in a pair of blue jeans and a, and a, and a shirt and feel comfortable. You can walk in in a suit and feel comfortable. Um, it's a, a, a nice, casual, upscale, elegant restaurant. And it's not a gimmicky place. It's just good old, you know, American food. So, Bill, you say that the Milrose restaurant serves up a little something for everyone. Tell us why you chose it. Well, it's, it's a great place if you want a good, hearty meal old-style American food, steaks, chops, chicken, fish, fantastic appetizers, and it's in a wonderful setting. It's, they're all barns, if you're into this. They were all from the area, Barrington, and throughout the farm country in northwest Illinois that they've put together over the years. The, the service is fantastic. The servers are helpful. They have a huge bar. And when you're done eating, if the country store is open, you can go buy the same food that you just ate packaged up, ready to take home. Interesting historical aspect about this restaurant. It's owned by William Rose, owner of the Rose Meat Packing Company. So a lot of the <laughs> Rose meat products are actually on the menu. Mm -hmm. Which ones did you enjoy, Sonia? I stuck with what I would be very familiar with. I had the prime rib and my fella had uh, the filet mignon special. And of everything that we had that night, which was fantastic, the entree was the only part we didn't like. Um, every time I've had prime rib, it's been soft and it's been in a nice puddle of juice. And this was the driest thing I've ever put a chainsaw to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. Yeah. Because my wife had prime rib that was very, very wow. good. It was, and it was cooked right. We eat our meat rare. It was absolutely excellent. There were so many appetizers I have to go back and get because there, there must have been a hundred and, you know, 80 of them sounded great. But the spinach artichoke dip was the best thing I've ever had. No artichokes were harmed in the making of this dip, though. <laughs> but it was still the best thing I've ever eaten. I like you guys, but I hated the restaurant. <laughs> no! He's the sign I Look out! I <laughs> hated it. You didn't like eating in a barn? I didn't Aww. like eating in a barn. And you find it very clean for a barn? Well, I it mean, was clean. There was no yeah. straw There the was floor. no straw, oh. no horses, nothing like that. <laughs> The most disappointing aspect of the meal for me was a, a combination of a couple of things. There were only three tables total in, in the dining room that we were eating at. Uh, and our waiter was just totally inattentive. And I couldn't even flag him down. He just wasn't in the dining room. We shouldn't have to flag anybody in any restaurant. Right, no. right. right. They're, they're just... Especially a restaurant of that caliber. Never had a problem like you've had as far as service. Mm -hmm. And it may be because mm -hmm. they were busy God knows what a waiter does, you know, when he goes and disappears. <laughs> well, I know that I've had that happen. I, it could destroy a meal. The food, I thought, was um, hit or miss. Accompaniments to the meal were a little oh bland. A little, yes, it, I it, found that the, the broccoli was just steamed mm -hmm. broccoli, yeah. and it was not the, that perfect texture or anything. The right. potatoes were just potatoes, and I was like, And well, maybe this that's the so nature good. of America. You yeah. know, it's no, that's the no, that's that's a, that's an American style mm -hmm. restaurant. Right. That's the nature of an American style yeah. restaurant. Well, Trudy's broccoli was fine, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm I don't go for sauces like hollandaise and things of that nature, and maybe that was what was missing for you. Mm -hmm. They don't do garlic mashed potatoes. Right. They do regular yeah. mashed potatoes, and I think garlic mashed potatoes and flavored mashed potatoes right. has become oh, the thing yeah. of your. And I yeah. and I wanted to love it. Trust me, oh, I'm yeah. a fallen off the wagon vegetarian. I saw this menu online. I was <laughs> like, oh my god, this is meat heaven. I had the pulled pork sandwich with uh, with an apple cider, the vinegar barbecue sauce. 
And it was a very, very flavorful barbecue sauce. And the pulled pork was, was tender, it was fantastic. But the Kaiser roll that it was served on, I, I felt like it came from a, like a national service provider. Oh, it was bad for me. We sat in these big upholstered comfy chairs and the table went up to here on me and I'm like, <laughs> I need a booster seat. It was so uncomfortable to eat my meal like here. <laughs> I was like, uh, I want to change my seating They grow something. bigger out but, in the north suburbs. Yeah. But they did have live entertainment. They had the yeah. most wonderful pianist that sang and you can make mm -hmm. requests and mm -hmm. I really Were admired you? that. I was there on a weekend. Yeah. Bill, where exactly in the restaurant is the brewery? Right when you walk in the door off to the right. Uh, I've only been there a few times when the brewmaster's been there actually working. And without naming names in the city or anything else, I will hold their beer up to anybody's microbrewery. That was another aspect for me that I found disappointing. My waiter didn't recommend any of the beers, and so I didn't really know what to go on. And in fact, I almost forgot that it was a that it was a brewery. I had the stout, and I drink a lot of Guinness, and their stout measures up. It was very, very good. And every beer I've had, from their Pilsners to their raspberry flavored beer, I think, because yeah. their wheat, their wheat mm -hmm. beers. Yeah have always been excellent. Well, Bill, this was your selection. Give us your summary. Well, if you want good, hearty food that sticks to your ribs and you're not a vegan, <laughs> you want to take home two or three extra meals for the week, Milrose Brewery is the place for you. Sonia? I would definitely go again for an appetizer and a beer, but I'm sad to say I wouldn't go for dinner again. And Jeffrey? I probably wouldn't go back at all just based on the experience that I had, although I will say that the pulled pork was delicious. You can drink the brew and check out the view at Milrose Restaurant, Brewing Company and Country Store, 45 South Barrington Road in South Barrington, 847-382-7673. They're open for lunch and dinner every day of the week and brunch on Sunday. Reservations are recommended and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is $29. Mm -hmm.